How's it going guys? My name is Mike Fanatic and I welcome you to my first YouTube video. Uh, one of my first YouTube videos I'm going to be doing is of course playing games like this, games on my list, just various games that I hope you guys enjoy as well as I do. Uh, my first one of course as you can read is going to be I Love You Colonel Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. Uh, let's jump right into this. I think this will be a good time and hopefully a funny time for me and you. Uh, so let's say new game. Before we get started, let's say my name. Let's let's go with let's role play a little. Let's go with uh my fanatic. Nah, maybe. I'm not feeling that one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Evan. Let's go, Evan, on that one. My name is Evan. I used to know it, Evan. All right. Biscuits and chicken, fried chicken. The two essentials, of course. All right, here we go. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Would I smack the clock up and at him or throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever? Uh, of course. We're gonna throw the clock out the window. You sleep the school year and gave up on a once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Oh, it's game over. Oh, I didn't know there was right choices. Uh, mind you, this is my first dating simulator, so I didn't. I don't know if there's right choices in all of them, but oof. Uh, no. Let's try that again. Wow. Back to the two essentials. Uh. Wow. Let's try this one more time. Uh, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You can stay in the room forever. Or you could wake up. Now, now, now. Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up and at him. We're going to take on the day, boys. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. You'll need to take this seriously. You'll allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. Uh, last time I chose the lazy one, I kind of got game over, so I'm gonna go with, you gotta take this seriously. I'm gonna take it super serious. Uh, as Evan, uh, I'd been to make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. I stuttered on that. <laughs> you bust through the morning checklist. Teeth brushed, hair combed, pits deodorized. Everyone, you should always deodorize your pits. Nothing can stop you now. You confidently grab a biscuit, shut out the door, and head off to class. Of course, uh, one of the two essentials uh, next we need is the fried chicken. Oh, nice animation. Just what you needed to get your blood flowing. <laughs> get my arteries clogged or something. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She's the most adorable, awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh my god. Just, <laughs> this is great. Uh, I need a voice for her. Oh. Good morning, Evan. Are you excited for the first day of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because I... Oh, sorry. Because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous? Okay, okay. A lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning, I made breakfast for myself. But, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in that food. What if it's no good? What if I fail? Classic, Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies, but <laughs> I went to like a really groggly voice right there. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. Ever since we went, we were little babies playing together, you rescued me from the quicksand box. It's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. <laughs> but with the University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's most famous three-day only semester, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. 
the famous three day only semesters? What? If I was in college and they gave me three days, I would fail, like, most likely, like 100%, fail right, right there. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. I am so weak. You guys never tip your tooth? Chip your tooth practicing on a mannequin? It shows. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to move her to give her some relief? Well, personally me, I would pep talk to your best friend. Or we can change the subject to school gossip. Ooh. Let's do that one actually. It's hard to see Miriam like this and, frankly, quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you tried to change the subject to something more interesting. All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy en enigmatic eh, I don't know. enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at the school. Yeah, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student we read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Uh -huh. Oh, get this! I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was a born. Oh, sorry. He had them ever since he was born from an egg. An egg like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. But that thing about having powers, it would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard. Like, I heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. You both sigh, thinking about a student so handsome that the laws of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Man. Awesome. I love it already. Before you can get another word out, you rudely interrupt when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. I hate it when that happens at school. Me and my custom engraved measuring spoons. Hey! Listen! It's Ashley, your arc, arch, arch rival? Your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants and she knows it. Hello? Ashley! Oh. Uh, uh, I need a new voice for her. Um, Oh, 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 I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Is that really a new voice? Oh, let me try that one more time. <clears throat> oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Evan alone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you leave Evan's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. Honestly, if my name was spelled like that, I would be annoyed too. You know for her a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone else. Look at that tongue. Oh my god, you know she's gonna be an annoying character. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're going to let- oh sorry, we're going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. We're not going to let you. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to talk guys. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man. Van Van, I don't know why I said it like that, but I'm gonna stick to that. Van Van, the man man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <clears throat> Van Van! Oh, you rang rang. Oh my god, this guy! His hair is a literal star. I can't with this guy. <laughs> Look at their faces. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Von Von have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, would it would ever allow people like you to attend school. To attend as students. Oh my god. I know. You think they just let us our diplomas now? Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. 
With the first day of school out to start, there's just no time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. Psh, see you later, losers! Oh, that was kind of like the other girl. Oh, it's kind of hard doing all these voices. Oh, psh, see you later, losers! <laughs> Get bent! As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Um... Pop? Oopsies! I don't know how to do this voice. I really don't. There's so many voices, but... Oopsies! I, I think it broke. You reach forward and easily pull a door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Hi Pop, I'm Evan. So, are you going to make me hold this door all day? Nope. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Aww. It's just me, or is he kinda cute? I think it's just you. <laughs> man, if that's if that's her level of attractiveness, I mean, not saying anything bad, but my gosh. Loki, he kinda hot though too. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the first video. I know I did. I had a lot of fun making it. Before anyone says anything, no, I don't think Pop is hot. That would be entirely weird. Bear with me, as I've never had to do so many voices before. If you guys have any feedback on the episode and how I could be doing things a little bit better, or things you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one.